Okay, so we're gonna look at voltaic cells. Voltaic cells are also called galvanic cells, or more commonly, we know them as batteries. Okay, so we're gonna look at uh, two assessment statements here, 9.4.1, and that's explain how a redox reaction is used to produce electricity in a voltaic cell, and 9.4.2, state that oxidation occurs at the negative electrode, the anode, and reduction occurs at the positive electrode, the cathode. Okay, so we've got two pictures here. We've got an ox on the left and a red cat on the right. Why have we got those? Well, a useful phrase to help you remember the um, phrase for 9.4.2, okay, is an ox and red cat. Okay, this is an ox on the left, that's a red cat on the right. So what does it mean? It means uh, oxidation happens at the anode, an ox. Oxidation happens at the anode. And uh, red cat reduction happens at the cathode. Okay, so you have to learn these two phrases here, and an easy way to remember that is an ox and red cat cat okay okay let's move on to the second assessment statement and this is explain how electricity is produced in a voltaic cell now the first point is about electron flow okay and this is a common question in the test or the exam which way do electrons flow well they flow from the um, more reactive metal to less reactive metal okay so if you look here we've got zinc and we've got copper. Now, if you look at the reactivity series, you'll know that zinc is more reactive than copper. So the electrons are going to flow from zinc to copper. And we usually have the more reactive metal on the left and the less reactive metal on the right. Okay? Now, a voltaic cell is made of uh, two half cells. Okay? You have one half cell here, the zinc half cell on the left and the copper half cell on the right okay and what we have is we have two electrodes okay electrodes and we're gonna name those the cathode and the anode okay so on the left here is the anode and on the right here is the cathode okay now if you remember an ox and red cat oxidation happens at the anode reduction happens at the cathode okay uh, we also need to know the charge now in a voltaic cell the anode is negative and the cathode is positive okay right let's have a look at how electricity is produced now what we have here is a piece of zinc metal and that's forming zn2 plus ions okay now what's happening here, the zinc is being oxidized, okay? So it's losing two electrons, so I'll draw those in there, okay? So what's happening is the zinc goes from metal, solid, to Zn2 plus ions. And the two electrons, they flow up the piece of metal, they flow along the wire, okay, there's an arrow going this way, okay? And they go to the cathode here, on the right side. What we have in the solution here is Cu2 plus, okay? So the electrode, electron, sorry, are going to come down here, and this Cu2 plus ion will gain these two electrons. So that's reduction. So what we have on the left is oxidation. On the right, we have reduction. So we can write half equations for these, can't we? We've got zinc as a solid piece of metal, and it's making uh, Zn2 plus ions in aqueous solution, Aq, plus 2E negative. Okay, that's oxidation, loss of electrons. On the right-hand side, we have Cu2 plus ions in aqueous solution, and they are gaining two electrons to make copper metal as a solid. Okay, so we've got... Um, that's oxidation, okay, and this is reduction, okay. So what you have here, you have a redox reaction. The zinc is oxidized, 
the copper is reduced. And it's the electron flow, these E negative, that's electric current. That makes your mobile phone or laptop computer work, okay? Um, now there's one more thing and this, uh, we have to look at, and it's this thing here in the middle. Okay, that's called a salt bridge. Salt bridge. Okay, now what that does is it allows these ions, we've got sodium ions there and sulfate ions there, it allows them to flow between the two half cells. So why do you need to do that? Well, basically what's happening is this left-hand half cell is becoming more positive because we're getting uh, Zn2 plus ions. And on the right side, these Cu2 plus ions are getting used up, okay? So this side is getting more negative, and this side is getting more positive. So if we just leave it without the salt bridge, we'll get a buildup of charge, and the, the voltaic cell won't produce any current. So what happens is um, the negative ions come to this side, and the positive ions come to that side, and you get... Um, it allows the flow of the ions which completes the circuit. Okay, so that's the function of the salt bridge. Okay. Um, actually, there's one more thing we could look at. Eventually, this um, zinc electrode here, it's going to become uh, used up because it's going from uh, metal to ions in solution. Okay, so eventually our zinc electrode will be all gone. And the copper electrode gain mass okay because it's gaining a uh, solid copper here okay it's a solid okay so that's how a voltaic cell is used to produce electricity okay on the next slide we we'll just have a quick look at uh, the salt bridge and you need to know the two functions of a salt bridge uh, the first one is a salt bridge completes the circuit by allowing ions to move between half cells and secondly it prevents buildup of positive and negative charge Okay.